Welcome to the Wayback Machine. In a time before iTube, today we're working on something. Do I need to say that? Where we'll be building a valet that I made last year in collaboration with a local glass blower. This video is brought to you by the Box of Awesome Bespoke Posts. More on them later. Now we'll get to the glass parts, but first we would. As with any project, I start in CAD to iron out the proportions and minimize the mass that I got to do. A little careful grain selection later and it's time to mill the rough boards down to size and begin to form the carcass, which is the backbone of any case. So let's go ahead and do that. Now the shot may look a little different. I hadn't started growing fungus under my hat and the Oreos hadn't yet found their way to my waistline. But you're probably asking yourself, what the heck's a valet? Yeah, well, it's a place for things and stuff. Uh, you know, a box for treasure, a treasure box, or coins, or lint. Bananas, I don't know, whatever you're into. Why am I sharing it now, a year later? Well, this is part one of a two-part series. Mark the glass blower, aka Lamy Glass, helped me out with the poles on this piece, and then I make a dope little box for his work in part two. Now, if you're watching the Wayback Machine in the future, part two's already out. If you're watching it in the present, it'll be out in a couple of days, so make sure you're subscribed to that. There's just nothing quite as exciting and exhilarating as cutting dovetails when you're watching it on TV, but in real life, it's actually pretty tedious, a lot boring, and really stress-inducing, and I will just never understand those people who find it relaxing. Um, you can see where I sawed down really close to the lines here, the layout, the transfer. So now what I'll just do is uh, come through and pair those off. part coming up, I want you to remember the golden rule, and that is not your fingers, not your problem. Safety police. It's been kind of fun looking back on this project instead of the usual where I'm just finishing up the piece as I'm editing and I'm already starting on the next one. I have this theory, when first learning woodworking, the focus is on the craft. The hardest part is what goes where, when it goes there, and how to execute it. What tool to use, order of operations. Some never leave this stage and that's totally fine. I call these people the perfectionists. Craftspeople. People dedicated to frameworks that improve efficiency and make them the best at a thing. This box was very much so in that period for me. And it was only a year ago. Shoot, I've only been woodworking for three and a half years and the Brad nailed reclaimed fence picket outdoor furniture for the first year hardly counts. Okay, and then there's this shift where the execution is no longer the biggest hurdle. You start to get an idea of what to do, when to do it, and the smart business person probably chooses option A. Find your thing, be the best at it. I get that. And then there's me. Doing the same thing twice? Ugh. Been there, cut that. 
So what's there to do then? I'll tell you what the hardest thing is, but first hit that subscribe button and let me know down in the comments below what you think the next step in this progression is. Don't worry, I'll wait. And while you do that, and with all that said, I just gotta say, these are my favorite dovetails I've ever made and design. Design is my answer. That is the next step. It is by far the hardest. So today we got all of the internal components to support the drawers together, the liners, the dust shelves, all of the small parts cut and ready to assemble and fit and join for the back panel. Um, and next is drawers and doors, and uh, that is a wrap. Um, all the drawer parts, so we're gonna take all the sides, front, back, and size those. Uh, we're gonna get each one piston fit, and then make the doors for the front, uh, as well as inlaying custom blown, uh, hand blown, mouth blown? Hand blown, mouth, by mouth, poles, glass poles. Today we got the drawer boxes together and now we'll be moving on to the doors where I decided to go with Baruso offset hinges, knife hinges. They are very sexy and a little bit tricky to install. looks great. But you know what's really dope? Fire. You can see I'm using epoxy here and then just keeping it in place with a little bit of CA glue while that epoxy cures. What I would do differently and what I did do differently next time, this time, Wayback Machine's really confusing. I took an engraver to the glass to etch the surface and made sort of a, a roughness in that for the adhesive to stick to.
thanks so much for tuning in. I just want to take a quick second to say thank you and make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned after the B-roll for a word from our sponsor. And after that, I'll have a sneak peek to next week's box. And if you like this build and builds like it, you might enjoy the nightstand build. So go ahead and go check that out after you're done here and we'll catch you next week. Peace. Now, if you're into boxes, which I'm assuming you are since you clicked on this video, you'll love this week's sponsor, Bespoke Post. It's like those glam bags my wife looks forward to every month, but designed for people like me, people like you. From EDC to grilling, camping, cutting or shaving, and really everything in between, Bespoke Post has a box for you. Every box is valued at around $70, but you won't pay anything close to that. Even better, 90% of the items were made by small businesses, many of which are US based, and you really only pay for what you want. Let's check out what they sent. Box number one is titled Split. Speaking of EDC, little field hatchet. The grounds kit had an inflatable cushion for sitting around the campfire. A swivel head carabiner that I'll definitely use in the shop with some eco-friendly reusable zip ties. And a SOG knife from Seattle, Washington, just north of me. And last but not least is the forge kit, which had this sweet little walnut Damascus knife in a leather sheet that's definitely my new favorite shop knife. Click the link in the description below to take the personalization quiz to find out which box is right for you and get 20% off your first box using code SawyerDesign20 or go to bespokepost.com slash SawyerDesign20. Thanks Bespoke Post. Now let's take a look at what we got cooking for next week.